Hola, estoy en Estadio Olímpico Universitario. And today, we're here to check out my first ever football match in Mexico City. It's going to be the Pumas versus Aguas Calientes team, which is Nacaxa. I'm excited to see some of the action, and I'll share it with you when I get inside. So no winner today, it was 1-1 Pumas Nakaksa. Hope you still had fun checking out the game with me. I enjoyed some massive coronas while I was there. I'll show you more in a bit. Today, we're here to go to the Mirador, or the Observatory of Torre Latinoamericana. When the tower was completed in 1956, it was the tallest of its kind in the whole world to be built in such a highly active seismic zone. That proved to be useful because in 1985, Mexico City was hit with an earthquake. During that time, the actual engineer designer of the building was in his office in the tower and experienced what it felt like. While many of the buildings in the surrounding downtown area crumbled, Torre Latino stood strong. We're currently in Colonia Santa Maria La Ribera in Mercado de la Daria on our way to Biblioteca Vasconcelos. Made a stop first at the market to Casa Chacon to have an amazing barbacoa flauta. After some flautas, we come to Kiosco Morisco, which is definitely Moorish in style, but also definitely Mexican. While many think it was a gift from an Arab sheik or something, it was actually designed by a Mexican engineer for an international expo in the United States. Along the exterior, there are a total of 44 intricate columns. And while the patterns are decidedly Islamic, the colors are very much Mexican, which makes for a unique combination and really, one of the most underrated destinations in Mexico City. We're here at Biblioteca Vasconcelos, which is by probably Mexico's greatest living architect, Alberto Calach. This massive, like, really large library can hold up to 1.5 million books. Currently, it's only one third of the way full, with plenty of room to grow. Alberto is very advanced as well structurally. And what's really amazing about this library is that the books appear to float in midair, or rather the bookshelves. They sort of hang in the seven floors of stacks, and it creates a really crazy effect. Don't stop now Reaching for a distant star Don't stop now Isn't it strange how we're safe and home? Till I got in days until 
That's all the Mexico City for now. We're about to take this bus to Aguas Calientes. Fun fact, on an 8 day NA bus, which here in Mexico are honestly actually better than airplanes. When you get on, they give you a bottle of water and a snack. You can recline and there's a nice TV. In a few hours from now, I'll be in Aguas Calientes, which is a state north of Mexico City. So, hope to share with you some adventures there. See you.